Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm uh, excited. Obviously, uh, you know, not a great result the other night. Uh, it's uh, it's tough watching, um, you know, anytime you're out. So uh, I'm excited to get back in. Obviously, uh, it's an important game for us tonight. What's it been like dealing with this? You know, Sheldon said it's an injury you haven't dealt with, which I'm sure complicates things. How would you describe the last week for you? Um, yeah, it's been a little bit difficult, I think, just trying to work through it. But, um, you know, we've got a great staff here. And, um, I think just the communication has been great and um, just getting everything that uh, I need to, to help me feel better. And uh, it's been a pretty solid week, so um, you know, I feel comfortable uh, getting back in tonight. And uh, like I said, uh, these are important games for us coming up, so um, it's exciting. Austin, awesome. any silver lining at all that you get a bit of a rest here before what's coming? I think you can um, you know, always take the you know the positive and the uh, and I guess the negative. So um, you know, obviously, I don't like to not play. It's uh, it's never fun sitting out. Never fun uh, you know watching games when uh, you wish you could be in there. So, <clears throat> but you know, you got to take the good with the bad, and um, you know, hopefully that a uh, little bit of rest um, you know is beneficial. But um, you know, obviously, uh, I'd, I'd much prefer to be playing. Does rest make make it so that this issue is now something you don't have to deal with it, or is it something? I think something, you know, you just kind of have to manage moving forward. Um, but like I said, it's, uh, you know, we got a good staff here. It's, uh, you know, something that I can, you know, I think I can work through. And um, you know, we've done a really good job of just, you know, kind of helping it feel better and uh, just doing everything I can throughout the week to uh, uh, improve different areas and uh, just feel as good as I possibly can. So this is something that happened in the Ottawa game? Yeah, it was just a awkward little collision that, um, you know, nothing really too crazy, just, uh, just kind of, Put me, uh, put myself in a bit of an awkward spot that uh, just kind of caught me. And were you thinking of not finishing that game at any point, or, or no. it got worse after? Or? Yeah, just afterwards. Uh, you know, once the adrenaline and all that stuff kind of wears off, you kind of get a better sense of where you're at. What do you see? What do you want to accomplish personally and, and with this team the last four games of the season? Um, well, I mean, I think these are just really good opportunities for us to hone in our game and um, make sure that we're firing on all cylinders. I mean, obviously the other night uh, wasn't pretty, um, but you know, you got to kind of move past that. You got to move forward and you got to take the good with the bad. And obviously we got our asses kicked. So, um, you know, I'd like to think that, you know, we're going to be a very motivated team tonight to obviously get back on track. But these are also games that, um, you know, we need to make sure that uh, we're firing on all cylinders because, you know, these games matter. Obviously, playing a, a team in our division tonight and a team that's been uh, at the top of the class probably all year long. So it's, it's um, you know, these games are going to be difficult, but these are the exact games that I think we need leading up to the playoffs. How did uh, Joe Thornton change the way you look at the game? Um, yeah, I feel like I could go on and on, honestly. I just think, uh, you know, his mindset and everything, uh, you know, his whole attitude is, um, you know, he's, he's still like a kid out there. I don't know, he's 42, 43 now, and he just loves the game. He loves being around the boys, and he just loves competing, and I think that's something that all of us really appreciated, and just the attitude and, um, you know, his uh, his mindset coming every day was just to, to have fun, work hard, and uh, it was no stress uh, around him. So I think that's something that we all kind of took away from him. He was an amazing guy to, to obviously play with, to get to know, and, um, yeah, just uh, just a lot of fun to be around. Able to catch up with him during any of these trips here? Yeah, yeah, we've been able to see him, which has been nice. Um, you know, his, uh, just his whole, uh, you know, just the energy about him and uh, his personality, I think, um, you know, you hear the stories, obviously, and uh, he's just a, an amazing guy to be around, a lot of fun. So, um, like I said, we all, all really enjoyed playing with him, getting to know him, and I think, uh, you know, all of us really built a um, you know, really good relationship with him, and we all still keep in touch. So, was there a pretty wild game here last time between the two teams? What stands out to you about the Panthers? You mentioned this is the type of challenge you're looking for down the stretch. Um, I mean, pretty much everything. I mean, they've been just uh, running through everybody all year long. So, um, you know, I'm not sure there's uh, really a big weakness in their game. I, I think it's just. Um, you know, going out there and, and really competing. I, I know we feel confident in our group, but uh, obviously this is a team that's kind of been the standard uh, of the NHL so far this year, at least in our conference for sure. So, um, 
you know, offensively, they're dynamic. They got four lines that can obviously uh, score goals. Defensively, you know, they're always jumping into the play, and, and they've been getting some good goaltending. So, um, you know, like I said, it's going to be a really good challenge for us. But these are the exact kind of games that I think we need. Jonathan Huberto just said that if he had a hard vote, he'd give it to you. Uh, if you couldn't pick yourself, who would you give your hard vote to? Um, you know, I, I think there's so many guys to, to choose from. Um, you know, it's tough. Um, but obviously him uh, would be uh, one of the guys. Just I think his, uh, just the year he's had, but it just seems like he's been just driving the bus for this team along with, you know, a couple other guys. But obviously he really stands out. Um, you know, look at a guy like Yossi in Nashville who's, uh, you know, just been unbelievable. It's kind of the same thing, just driving the bus for that team. So I, th I think there's a lot of guys that you can kind of look at and, and pick. Um, you know, it just seems like the guy, you know, McDavid and, and Dreisaitl, um, it's, we've gotten so accustomed to them just, you know, doing this every single year that you kind of lose lose sight and, you know, how good of a season that those two are having. So, I mean, you can, you know, obviously look at a number of different guys and a lot of guys are having really good seasons and obviously doing really, really good things for their team. Um, but, um, yeah, there's, there's a lot of guys, but obviously uh, Hubie's uh, been a guy that, you know, it's been a lot of fun to watch this year. And like I said, he's been kind of driving the bus for this team. And, um, you know, he seems to be, uh, you know, in it every single game. Austin, the World Under-18 Championship starts today. You had some big moments there. What did that tournament mean to you? Well, it meant a lot. Um, you know, I, I think when you go to that national program, it's, uh, you know, your two years there are kind of built towards that tournament. So I know for us it was uh, as big as the deal as it, it possibly could be. Um, you know, being that age and everything, so it was uh, it was an amazing tournament. I think um, I was fortunate enough to play in it twice, and um, you know, it's just a lot of fun. You really, uh, you really get a sense of, um, I guess, where you're at, um, you know, across the the world and in your age group and stuff like that. But it's just fun competing against other countries and then representing your own.